Everybody. Welcome to getting ready for fifth grade math like a boss. This is week eight. This is our last week. It's day 35 and we are going to be working on one of my favorite, favorite math skills, the order of operations. It's going to be so fun. Oh my goodness. I just cannot wait. So um, let's get to it in just a second. Now everything that I do here you can find by clicking the link below. You can download your own workbook and have more practice problems that I don't even mention or show in the video to help you truly become a boss and get you ready for that fifth grade math. So look into that. Um, let's get to it now. Let me teach you. Boss notes. Oh, did I mention that I love order of operations? Okay, so you should have the same notes that I have right now. You're just filling in the chart that I have for you. Okay, this table. So for order of operations, we use this trick. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And we're going to plug that in over here for what the P, the E, the M, the D, the A, and the S all mean. Okay, the P stands for parentheses. Parentheses. Okay, P. E stands for exponents okay now you're not gonna have too many problems with exponents in fifth grade and what I mean by this is well you might be saying Ms. McCarthy in week 8 we did power of 10 powers of 10 and those had exponents yes in fifth grade the only exponents that you have are powers of 10 which could show up um, but that's more of a sixth grade thing, so you'll get to that in sixth grade with the exponents, okay? So we're not gonna, you're not gonna see too many problems in this packet with exponents. Moving on, M stands for, oh, how am I gonna squeeze this in? Multiplication. D, my dear, would be divide. My A is addition, and my S is subtraction. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division. I should have written division, not divide, sorry. Hope you're using a pencil to write this down. Addition and subtraction. And over here you should see two arrows, and those arrows are actually in the wrong spot for mine, not for yours. Okay, and this means that you solve from left to right. Solve from left to right when you see those. Okay, so why do we have a whole little system for orders of operations? Well, I'm about to show you several problems that have a bunch of different operations that have parentheses, that have multiplication and division symbols, that have addition and subtraction symbols, and you have to know the order that you solve them. And if you don't know the order, that will change your answer and get you a wrong answer and we don't want that. So let's get to it and put these boss notes into practice in the learn it and practice it section. Let's do this thing. Okay, so here we have problem number one. We've got, oops, I don't know why this erased. We've got 35 minus in parentheses two times four plus in parentheses 10 divided by five times three. So you can see here we've got a lot of different operations going on. We've got subtraction, multiplication, addition, division, uh, more multiplication, some parentheses, and notice no exponents here. Told you that you'll probably see more of those in sixth grade, so don't worry about it too much right now. Okay, <clears throat> so I wrote down PEMDAS up here. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or parentheses exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, I'm also going to put those little symbols there to help us with this. So let's start with our parentheses up top. Do we have any operations in parentheses? Yes, right here and right here. And we're going to solve those going from left to right. So 2 times 4 is 8. 
and 10 divided by 5 is 2. Then I'm going to bring everything else down and work my way going down. So 35 minus 8 plus 2 times 3. So I finished my parentheses. I don't have any exponents. Now multiplication and division. I got to go from left to right, but I only have multiplication, so 6. Okay? Bring everything else down. 35 minus 8 plus 6. Okay. Now we have addition and subtraction, but these two are on the same playing field, so we go from left to right. So I've got subtraction, addition. I'm going to start over here because I need to do this from left to right. 35 minus 8 is 27 plus 6. Now 27 plus 6 is 33. One word of advice. I do not, do not, do not, do not want you doing this all in your head. You'll make a mistake. I have tutored a lot of students who think that they can do this in their head, and I catch them in mistakes over and over and over again. Have Show some responsibility, show some dedication to this, and truly write it out step by step. It'll really help you. I promise I wouldn't even attempt doing this in my head. All right, number two. All right, so we've got six times 7 minus 2 times 4 plus 36 divided by 6. Let's use our PEMDAS, our order of operations. P, do I have any parentheses? No, so I just move on to the next thing. I don't have any exponents. So now I'm multiplying or dividing from left to right, okay? So starting here from the left, 6 times 7 is 42. Okay, I'm going to put minus. I'm going to go ahead and solve this out since it's on the same playing field. It's a multiplication. 2 times 4 is 8. Plus, and now I have 36 divided by 6, which is 6. Okay, I finished my multiplication and division, and now I am on my addition subtraction step. I'm not going to add first because they are on the same playing field field, so I do my subtraction first because I'm going from left to right now. 42 minus 8 is 34. Yeah. Plus, and if you're not sure, you can just over here on the side, just do it. This would be 12, 4, 34, yes. Plus 6. 34 plus 6 is 40. All right, practice it. Number three, make your choice. Do you want to stick around with me and do it with me right now, or do you want to try it on your own and then come back? Either way, you need to make sure that you're checking your work. Okay, so I'm going to move on. Nine plus, in parentheses, 45 divided by five times four plus six. Close the parentheses up. All right, so for order of operations, my first step would be parentheses but I've got a lot going on within this parentheses. So I need to move to, I've got division, multiplication, and addition within my set of parentheses. So I need to follow my steps, moving to the multiplication and division step and going from left to right. So I've got multiplication, I'm sorry, I've got division, and I've got multiplication, and I'm going to solve it from left to right first. So 45 divided by five is, 9. Okay, then I'm just going to bring everything down, keep it nice and clean. Okay, see how I brought everything down there. Now, still in parentheses, 9 times 4 is what? 36 plus 6. Bring it down, 9 plus. Now, it's still in my parentheses. 36 plus 6 is 42. 9 plus 42 is 51. That is how you solve that one. Round number 4, we've got in parentheses 3 times 8 times 7 plus 42 divided by 6 minus 
three. So we start with our parentheses. Very good. Okay. Inside our parentheses, we've got multiplication and multiplication. So I'm just going to go across. So three times from left to right. Three times eight is twenty-four. I'm going to bring everything down. Plus 42 divided by 6 minus 3. Keep it nice and clean. Now, still in parentheses, 24 times 7. I don't know right at the top of my head, so I'm just going to bring it out here. 4 times 7 is 28. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2 is 148. No, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2 is 16. All right, 168. Okay, I can take those out of the parentheses now. Bring everything else down. Okay. Now, I've got addition, division, and subtraction. So which operation do I need to focus on first? Yes, I still have division, and that comes before addition and subtraction. So I'm going to do right here first. 42 divided by 6 is... 7. Bring everything else down. That was 7 and then 3. Now I have addition and subtraction. They're on the same playing field, so I go from left to right. 168 plus 7 plus 7 is 15. 175 minus 3 is 100. 72. And that is how you do it. Da -da 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 -da. B message. Hey, it's been great, guys. Actually, this is the last problem, so it's been great. I'm very proud of you. I hope you stick with it. You still have a couple more days to go after this, and you're going to go into fifth grade feeling like a boss if you have truly put in all the, whoa, all the effort that you need to. So I'm proud of you. I love you all, and Good luck. Today's B message is to be you like a boss. You are the only you, and you were created with special gifts and talents. And it's your responsibility to use them to make this world a better place. So be you. Everybody else is already taken, and if somebody doesn't like you for who you are, you don't really need them in your life anyway. Trust me. So everybody be you like a boss. Get ready, Get ready. Be, ready. be ready, like a boss, like a boss. boss mode. Ooh, that math. I'm getting strong.